The walls in Dolores Skeen's apartment are bare. No pictures of her late husband or children. What do your wedding pictures mean to you? Oh my God, everything. He's gone now. I have nothing to remember remember him by. She hired Spartan Van Line to take her belongings from storage in Texas to a one-bedroom apartment in Maryland. Skeen was quoted around $3,500, which she paid in full. But Skeen says that after they loaded her stuff, they jacked up the price to nearly $12,000. Eight months later, nothing has arrived. In December, the Florida Attorney General filed a civil suit against Spartan Van Lines, which is named as one of 15 aliases the company has used since 2014. The allegations range from using unskilled, untrained laborers to holding consumers' property hostage. In an email, the company told Skeen that if she doesn't pay, her belongings will be sent to auction. There, there's no reason for this, you know, other than people trying to make money. These SOBs. We heard similar stories from angry Spartan customers across the country. So as far as I'm concerned, we are owed money back. From overcharging to late deliveries and items that showed up busted. This is how they delivered my expensive TV back to me. Spartan Van Line told us their hub with a fleet of trucks was located here at this Doylestown, Pennsylvania address. But when we arrived, we were told all they have here is a mailbox. Over a thousand miles away in Hallandale, Florida, we tracked down the company owner, Joshua Vaknin. He refused to talk on camera, but denied all accusations of fraud. In her empty apartment, Dolores is still recovering from surgery. It's just horrible what this company has done to people, and I'm not the only one. We reached out to Spartan Van Line to help locate Dolores' property. They finally told us her things never left Texas and were in storage. Spartan's owner told me her property won't be released until the remaining balance of nearly $9,000 is paid in full. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York.